Texas Governor Rick Perry has already begun making noises about how he would consider running. He only polled at around 4% last month in a survey of Texas Republicans, but some people, some influential people, really do like his chances. Mark McKinnon, a former George W. Bush advisor, telling CNN, quote, why wouldn't he run? One of the only things holding him back was that two key members of his team were with Gingrich, and now that's no longer a problem. Mark McKinnon continuing, quote, there's a huge gap in the Republican field right now, and as a former six-man football player, Rick Perry knows how to run to the hole. Rick Perry knows how to run to the hole. There he goes, straight for the hole. And how is Mick Perry making that, Rick Perry making that run for the hole? How is he setting up to run? Governor Perry, you may know, has governed in Texas as a far-right, big-government Republican with an occasional flight of fancy about Texas seceding from the union. He recently signed legislation that forces Texas women to have medically unnecessary ultrasounds before he would allow them to get abortions. He has signed legislation to make it significantly harder to vote in Texas, exempting people with concealed gun permits, though, of course. This week, he issued this press release, quote, Governor Rick Perry has proclaimed Saturday, August 6th, as a day of prayer and fasting for our nation to seek God's guidance and wisdom in addressing the challenges that face our community, states, and nation. Governor Perry, not technically in charge of the nation, but calling everyone to prayer in the nation, right there on the government website, anyway. The model Rick Perry, I think, is working off here is the National Prayer Breakfast, maybe, held every year in Washington, D.C. on the first Thursday of February, when members of Congress and the administration turn out in their nicest suits for the National Prayer Breakfast, and whoever's president that year gives a speech. President Obama has done it, also President Bush, President Clinton, the other President Bush, also President Reagan. Having the president and other bigwigs there lends a real veneer of respectability to the proceedings, which can be discomforting when you remember that the group behind the National Prayer Breakfast, the host of the National Prayer Breakfast, is the family. The secretive quasi-church whose house on C Street offers subsidized rent to conservatives in Congress. The family and its C Street living quarters have been homes away from home for several Republicans who have ended up in trouble for cheating on their wives, like Mark Sanford and Senator John Ensign and allegedly Congressman Chip Pickering, too. The C Street house turning up in the resolution of all of those affairs. The family also has ties to the backers of Uganda's Kill the Gays bill. But never mind all that. Next year, they'll roll out the coffee urns and they'll do it all again. This very respectable national prayer breakfast. Governor Rick Perry, who maybe would like to be President Perry, the man who is talked about now as maybe riding in to save this lackluster Republican field, the guy who knows how to run for the hole, as Mark McKinnon said. Governor Perry has decided that he would look good running one of those national prayer de deals himself. Maybe even a 50-stater, you know, get out of the beltway and into the states with Rick Perry in the lead. If you click over to his event's official website, you'll find this, quote, There is hope for America. It lies in heaven, and we will find it on our knees. On the leadership page for his event, there's Governor Rick Perry, along with Don Wildman, president of what's described as the event's host entity. What's the host entity for this event? The American Family Association. So this is a Rick Perry slash American Family Association slash Donald Wildman joint. If Donald Wildman's name sounds familiar, it's because he and the American Family Association quite famously um, went after Barney the Dinosaur for seeming kind of gay. Uh, these are also the same guys who went after Buster the PBS Rabbit, who so wanted to visit a nice Vermont family that had two moms. Uh, they also went after SpongeBob SquarePants, who after all, lives with his starfish friend Patrick in a pineapple under the sea and occasionally holds Patrick's hand. The American Family Association is against Old Navy and Home Depot and Ford for marketing shirts and trucks and stuff to gay people. The American Family Association says they caused Ford sales to drop with their boycott. Ooh. This is the American Family Association, with whom Governor Rick Perry is hosting the Day of Prayer and Fasting for Our Nation's Challenges. The website Right Wing Watch has devoted themselves to keeping the American Family Association on the record. Hitler discovered that he could not get straight soldiers to be savage and brutal and vicious enough uh, to carry out his orders, but that homosexual soldiers 
uh, basically had no limits in the savagery and brutality they were willing to inflict on whoever uh, Hitler sent them after. So he surrounded himself, virtually all of the stormtroopers, the brown shirts, were male uh, homosexuals. We elected a commander in chief who doesn't give a rip about the Marines or the Army. He just wants to force homosexuality into every place that he can. We should not allow Muslims to serve in the U.S. military, and we have got to raise questions about whether we can afford to allow Muslims to immigrate into the United States at all. These borders are not random. They're set by God. In fact, we discovered that in American history. We tried a number of times to invade Canada, and we couldn't do it. Barack Obama nurtures this, nurtures this hatred for the United States of America, and I believe nurtures a hatred for the white man. That's who Rick Perry is hosting his National Day of Prayer with. That's the American Family Association. Rick Perry has invited every other governor in the country, all 49 other governors, to come to Texas to join with him and with those guys for what he has proclaimed as his national prayer event. If Rick Perry runs, that's how he's going to run for president of the United States. The phrase yeehaw does not come to mind. Joining us now is Wayne Slater, senior political writer for the Dallas Morning News. Wayne, it's great to see you. Thanks for being here. Great to be with you, Rachel. So, Wayne, does, does Governor Perry know what he's doing here? He's host, hosting this prayer day, paid for by the American Family Association. Does he realize who these guys are? Uh, I would like to say that he's not sure of all this stuff, but he is. He knows exactly what he's doing. He knows this group. He knows the, 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 some of the controversial things that have been said about him. Uh, that, that this group has said. Uh, the office has said this week that uh, that isn't important. What comments they've made, the important thing is prayer.